One of the most common myths about volcanoes is that that dark gray or white uh, material you see poofing out of the top of them is smoke. I can just make out the, the plume of smoke and ash rising into the air. Volcanoes erupt when the system becomes really, really pressurized. Every volcano operates on its own time scale because you could get little fractures in the rock that's above where all the magma is stored, and that would release enough gas to take the pressure off the magma chamber. Sometimes magma just sits. It sits and it sits and it kind of matures underground. But there is no clock. We can't predict eruptions because there's no schedule. Volcanoes are not any more active today than they've always been. As far as you rewind, in fact, even further than life itself, volcanoes have been doing their thing. Every day, on average, there's about 45 volcanoes around the world that are erupting. We're not seeing any sort of increase in volcanic activity. We're just hearing a little more about it because of social media. They're not smoking. Uh, what's happening is the volcano is releasing gases from inside the Earth's crust. So we're talking like hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and good old H2O, water vapor. Smoke is essentially carbon that is released when something burns. With volcanoes, they're not burning things. That's, that's a totally different process. What it is, is really small, tiny little particles of pulverized rock. And that rock gets pulverized during the eruption, right? You have an explosion happening with tons of force and that will crush the rocks that are make up the volcano. And then when that ash gets pushed out of the volcano, it can travel hundreds of miles and blanket the ground, cars, roofs of buildings. Most lavas, the fastest they can possibly move uh, on average is about 16 miles an hour, but that's a fast flow. Usual flows are closer to like six to eight miles per hour. A healthy, um, able-bodied adult can outwalk a lava flow most of the time. It can destroy property all day long because you can't move a house out of the path of a lava flow. You're more likely to be injured by what we call pyroclastic currents um, or pyroclastic flows. Those are superheated clouds of rock and, and gas that uh, tumble down the mountainside from big eruptions. Uh, they can reach speeds of several hundred miles an hour. Those are what buried uh, Pompeii back in the eruption in 79 AD. Volcanoes each have their own distinctive magma chambers that, that are fueling the volcano itself. So it's kind of like, you know, each one has its own gas tank, just like each car has its own gas tank. Now, of course, in a case like uh, the island of Hawaii, the big island, where you've got volcanoes right next to each other, um, we're not entirely sure on how the different systems are interrelated. So it could be that when one volcano is erupting, if they share a magma source at all, then the other volcano might not erupt. Sorry to tell you, but no, not in the way you think. Day to day, volcanoes actually emit less than 1% of all carbon dioxide produced on Earth. Most of it comes from us. Volcanoes actually help cool our climate. When we have a really big volcanic eruption, I'm talking like super volcano levels, that actually releases a lot of really small particulate material into the atmosphere, which serves as an insulating blanket for the planet. 